Healthy Humans. Um, Britt here. Uh, and today we're going to talk about something that's super, 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 super important. And that is self-love. So here is the tea. I started dieting around 10 and it really paved the way for me to have a super negative relationship with food for my entire life. And looking around on YouTube, I'm really seeing a lot of those same thoughts and sentiments that I had at that age echoed around um, by people out there that are, you know, 10, 11, 12, and that's just, it's really early to be having those negative thoughts. So if you or anybody that you know is starting to lose weight in an extreme way or think about food in an extreme way, um, I want you to just know that there are some signs that you can look for to see if it's actually become like a bigger problem. These are all symptoms of an eating disorder and they should be addressed ASAP. And I want you guys to know that it is a myth that only super, super skinny people can have eating disorders. You can be any size and have an unhealthy relationship with food. Don't be afraid to get help because you don't fit the mold or what society thinks someone should look like. Sometimes, you know, when you're suffering from low self-confidence, you don't love yourself enough to fight for yourself. So that's why I'm here to teach you some of the top tips and tricks that I've learned through my recovery and that have really helped myself love myself to the point where even in a pandemic, I'm not kind of reverting to those negative behaviors because I know that I'm worth fighting for and I know that you're worth fighting for. So here we go. Tip number one, boom. Stop comparing yourself to other people. So whenever you start to compare yourself to somebody else in a negative way, I want you to repeat after me. I'm me and that's okay. Or I'm me and that's awesome. Um, and I know it's super awkward and it feels like really cringy, um, but fake it till you make it. It actually works. The more you say that, even if you don't believe it at first, the more you say it, the easier it gets to hear and then you start believing it. And once you start believing it, like it becomes almost this really powerful mantra. Like I am awesome. Hashtag real talk for a second. Uh, you're not supposed to be like anybody else. Can you imagine how boring the world would be if it was literally full of the same person? Like, I don't care if that person is crazy and they're like Kim Kardashian, it would be boring. Tip two, don't let other people's hangups make you feel bad. Um, society has taught us to speak really negatively about ourselves and always be striving to like have that perfect like summer body or like lose five pounds in a week. Um, and we can internalize those comments and they can lead to us feeling really bad about ourselves. Chocolate? I shouldn't, but maybe I'll just be bad. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. So, if you're feeling triggered by somebody else's negativity about their body or somebody else's body, um, just politely point it out and kind of point out how silly it is like food is not good or bad Like it is fuel and we need it to live um, People are not good or bad depending on what they eat and Being skinnier or having bigger boobs or having like a Kim K butt does not make you a better person or a happier person Tip number three, every time you think something negative about your body, think about something you like about yourself that is non-body related. And if you can't think of one thing about your personality or who you are as a person that you like, then I don't think you're asking yourself the right questions. Are you kind? Are you generous? Are you patient? Are you smart? Are you funny? Um, Do you get good grades? Are you creative? Like the list goes on and on and on. There are so many things that make you who you are and make you a unique and really special person for this world. Um, and sometimes it just takes a little bit of practice to figure out what those are. The internet can be a really toxic place and it is fake AF. Um, a lot of the people you see online whose lives look really perfect are actually secretly super miserable. 
Um, there's tons of influencers and online personalities that have come out and said, you know, that they've developed anxiety, depression, eating disorders because of the need to keep up with that perfect image. Um, so just don't fall into that trap. You're not worth more as a person if you have six, you know, six pack abs or all you eat is kale. Like it doesn't make a difference. Um, you are who you are and you are that way because of the person you are inside and not on the outside. So just to really drive that home, I've included some um, links and some websites and stuff that you could visit if you're feeling that way or if anyone that you know um, is struggling with their self-image and body confidence and you know they're eating. That's It's really important to keep an eye out and the more you know and the more educated you are on this stuff, um, the stronger you're going to be to kind of fight back against all those really um, negative media messages. So remember guys, self-love takes practice, 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 practice. It feels really alien at first, but I know you can do it. Um, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, and you should be proud of yourself for even trying because it's really hard to confront a lot of those feelings and it feels really scary. So until next time, stay safe, be kind to yourself, practice self-love and practice love to others too. Um, this is Brett saying you deserve it. <laughs>